Get right into it. So, welcome everyone. So, this is my first, uh, fir very first interview with my student. Um, now, before I get into it, how do you, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, it's well, it's Thong Jun. Yeah. Uh, but my friends call me SJ or Elbas. Elbas. Okay. Cool. So I, I go by Elbas. So I'll, I'll I'll go by Elbas because that's what I'm sure, used to no calling worries. you. <laughs> Just had to make sure that I get it right. So. If you guys don't know, my name's Jack. Um, I run the YouTube channel here, and um, we're just doing an interview. Now, Al Bass is my very first um, Amazon student in the um, Amazon Seller Excellence course. And um, before we get started, Al Bass, um, why don't you go ahead and tell us a bit about yourself and just um, you know how you found the channel and how you sort of got into this whole um, this whole sure. uh, Amazon stuff. So basically, you know what's happened is Al Bass was my very first student, pretty much a very first one to enroll. And he is the first one to start selling on Amazon Australia, and he's found some good success, which we'll, you'll probably see from the title of this video, but we'll, we'll talk about that soon. But um, yeah, go away, Elbas, and um, yeah. tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, well, hi, every hi, everyone. My name is Elbas, or SJ. Uh, I am currently 24 years old. I am South Korean, uh, mm -hmm. but by my passport. Yep. I came to Australia uh, three years ago uh, as a uni student. Yep. Um, I'm currently in a skilled graduate visa, and yeah, I've I've first uh, I've started working in retail recently, yep. and that's when I first started stomp, uh, started my Amazon FBA uh, journey. Uh, I was making some money. I wanted ways to make more money from yep. that money. Yeah, I was uh, looking at YouTube videos about you know of, of all these different passive incomes. Yeah, and um, I found you know stocks, real estate, all that stuff. Then I found e-commerce, obviously, yep. and it's uh, it slowly led into the Amazon FBA. Yeah. Uh, which introduced me, yeah. and I found Jack because I because I live in Australia, and I, I'm, I and I was pretty confident that yeah. there was at least one or two people who was um, who made their channel especially for Australians, yeah, uh, who who, yeah. Who, were, who were who were uh, tailoring who were tailoring their uh, Amazon course for Australians. Yep. So yeah, I I found you, and there we go. I rolled in straight away. Uh, yeah, and awesome. I'm, I'm very happy now. <laughs> I think I think you're very happy man now. I think you enrolled when it was uh, the course was probably out for like two days. I think. And was it? <laughs> yeah, you got in. You got in pretty quick. Uh, yeah, it was, it was I, exciting. I, I was yeah. pretty confident about what you were offering. So. Yeah, and even at that point, um, I think the channel. I mean, the channel's got I think about 800 subscribers at the moment. Still, still really small, but. I think when you enrolled, the channel was under 500. I think so. Mm, okay. So yeah, it's, it seems like a while ago, but it really wasn't that long ago at all. Yeah. No, that's good. Oh, by the way, guys, if um, if you didn't know, I'm I'm pretty new to this interview stuff, so I'm going to read off some questions that I've written down. So just bear with me. I'm not the best at these, but we'll get through it. Um. So first question that that I'm going to go to after this is probably pretty much what everyone wants to know is um round about how much are you kind of selling because if you guys don't know Elbas is on the Aussie market and um, for a lot of you guys you guys are saying that um, you know it's there's not enough sales velocity and there's you know I get a lot of a lot of questions saying is it worth it should I just go to Amazon US because a lot of people want to make money straight away they just want to go to the US market obviously and um, you know Elbas has taken taken the route of you know I want to play the long game and I want to go to the Aussie market and I want to grow my brand and it's definitely starting to work out in his favor because he's he's taken the right steps so first question obviously Albas would be um, sort of how much around are you selling uh, you know weekly or monthly and um, what sort of the the profit so far uh, around that yeah on your sure product? so in t with my numbers um, currently I'm selling around uh, well fifth around 40 to 50 units a week yep Yep. Uh, so I started my first sales uh, started in, in October, yep. um, and so during that one month, I made around three thousand dollars in revenue. Yep. <laughs> yep. And which is, yeah, which is good. Which is good for the Aussie market. That's you know two hundred really units market, a month. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, and also around about three to four hundred dollars a week in pro in, profit. In profit. Very good. Yes. Yeah. No, that's good. So yeah, it's. I mean, it goes to show, guys. Like you know, it because it didn't happen straight away for you, did it? No, it didn't. Yeah, yeah. I, I had no sales for around two months. Yeah, and you had to you had to grow your brand. And yes, I did exactly. That's yeah. what you told. That's the first advice you gave me. So yeah, and yeah. It, it's all about that's sort of what what I talk about is like playing the long game and um, just growing your brand. And how how did you do that? How did you grow your brand? Yeah. Sure. So first. When I first launched my product, I sold it at seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. Um, and like I said, for two months, I didn't have any single sale. Yeah. Uh, my 
my product wasn't even paid one. Um, so I, 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 I was really depressed and I, yeah. I was kind of doubting my I, product. I, I, know, how, I know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you might know at, 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 at the early stages, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I started doubting my product. I, st I started doubting the Amazon FBA. Is, FBA. is Amazon Australia even working? Yeah, you know, it, I was really depressed. We all go through those those motions in the, in the brain. Yeah, <laughs> I did the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... What I and I asked you for help, and you said I need to build a brand. Yeah. So I thought about okay, what can I do? Then I first thought, okay, uh, I need to see if there is a demand for my product. Yeah. Because I didn't, because I didn't have any Jungle Scout. I didn't have eGrow when I first started uh, launch yeah. my product. So. Well, I, I think when you first started, um, eGrow wasn't really around. No, I don't it, think it so. Was, yeah, it was only it, a few months ago. Otherwise, I would have been like here. Here's Egro, use this instead. There you go, yeah. Because we couldn't use Jungle Scout for, for the Aussie market. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't think you can still use it, right? So, yeah. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, so what, what I did was I thought, okay, I need to see if there's a demand for my product. Yeah. So, what I did was I reduced the price. Yep. Like, by a lot. From $17.99, I reduced it to, reduced it to $11.99. Yep. And then the, started, then the sales started rolling in. Um, then my my rank increased. Yeah. Uh, then my product listing, the the, so, the so number on the listing increased. So you mean uh, like the ranking went lower and lower? Like you you got to the top? Is that what you oh, meant? Oh yeah, lower lower. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So yeah, uh, from one thousand rank one thousand five hundred or so to you know hundred. Uh, yeah. I mean like five hundred. Yeah. Three hundred or hundred and later. And that's when, one that's, and two. that's when it starts uh, getting. <laughs> that's when it starts getting exciting. Exactly. Yeah. That's when it started being exciting. I was losing a little bit of money, but it, it, it was nothing that would hurt. Um, it, yeah. it, it was a, a short-term sacrifice yeah. for the long-term gain. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I started. Then, then later on, uh, after I sold, sold around fifty to sixty products yeah. for, for eleven ninety-nine, yeah. I increased my price to sixteen ninety-nine. Yeah. And my state, my sales have been steady since, and yeah. I've been making good profits ever since. Oh, very good. So. How many units did you end up getting in to the? Because you didn't, you didn't, you're not selling in the in the US marketplace at all, are you? No, I'm not. No. no. How how many units did you get into the Aussie market? Yeah. So first, uh, initially, I ordered three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I still have my three hundred in stock. Yeah, because like I said, I started just making selling in October. Uh, yeah. But not, it's been a month and a half now, and I only have thirty units left. So. All right. So you're I doing well. <laughs> a, few, a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you you had um you had different variants of your product, didn't you? You had different colors. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that was very important because um just offering one product actually kind of for, for me for my for me uh personally I thought it, it kind of limits the the customer base. Yes. So I yeah. thought you know having different variants would actually give more choices for the customers to choose and therefore increasing the customer base. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, it, it makes sense. You know, you got, you got to give your customer options and you're sort of vacating more to your customer if, you, if you're giving them more, more options, especially when it comes to colors, because it's like more individualized. So that's really exactly, like, yeah. you've started taking the route of, you know, you, you, you're putting care into the product for the customer and obviously it started to pay off. So I guess, yes, it did, yeah. yeah, so I guess leading into that, um, what a lot of people would most likely want to know is um, how and how long did it take you to find your, your first product? Ooh, okay. Um, okay. So, with with that, so I first started in the Amazon US. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, like you know, um, and it took a really long time in there. A really, really long time. I I, I tried Jungle Scout. I, I tried the best sellers tech, tech, tactics, and I I, yep. I just couldn't find a product because yep. they were either uh, too competitive. Yeah. The prices were too low for me to compete. Yeah. Uh, or if 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 the prices were right and if if it wasn't too competitive. The, the the money to actually source the products from the factory were very were, were too high. Yes, yeah. So yeah, because I because I'm 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 not a rich man. I'm not a rich guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I have limited budget, so of course, yeah. And that, so it's it's, it's something Amazon. you have to take into consideration for everyone as well. You know, you you got to look at it. You got to look at it practically. Um, from you know how much can you spend to you know what the numbers are going to be, how much you're going to make, and you know all that. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. So even with the Amazon Australia, it, it didn't. It, it it wasn't a quick find. Uh, yeah. I I did try and uh, try different things. Uh, but what I 
did uh, have in mind was to kind of reduce the risk as much as possible in finding it. I don't want to just gamble everything. Cause yes. I, I initially invested six thousand dollars, and that's that's a big money for me. Oh yeah. You, you guys can all call me cheap, but that that's a big money for me. Okay. So, so you so you put uh, so you put six thousand into your first lot of yes, product. Yeah. Yes. So three thousand dollars of my money and three thousand dollars above from family and friends. Yeah. So it's six thousand dollars. Yeah. So that's a big that's a big. Uh, a big money for me so it, it is a lot of money yeah. um, in terms of um, you know relating your product back to the Aussie market so did you find your product mm -hmm. by first looking on the US market and then go into the Aussie market yep that's what I initially did yeah. I went on the best sellers in the Amazon US um, then I went on the best sellers list on the Amazon UK yep and I, there, then there I found some products that kind of linked into each other yep so for example, uh, watches and watch bands, uh, or uh, uh, wine, wine glasses and yeah. wine tumblers, you know, uh, and, and, and water bottles. So then I thought, okay, if I could at least choose one of these products yeah. um, and sell them on Amazon Australia, in the long run, I, I'm pretty com I was pretty confident that I would yeah. at least be on the top 100. Yeah, exactly. On, so. And when you, when you went to the Aussie marketplace, did you find that there was not much there that you could sort of... No. It was like you could pretty much get into that niche and you know start to grow it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So when I went into the Australian uh, Aussie uh, Amazon Australia, I found yeah. I found there were some um, some uh, some 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 of those products I was looking for, but they were too too boring, too dull, yeah. uh, they were too too similar to each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, if, if if they did look nice, the prices were really really high. Yeah. Like way high for for that kind of product. So I thought, okay. This is definitely the chance for me to get into the Australian market now. Yes, and maybe and also the, in terms of pricing, uh, I could definitely compete with these prices. Yeah, and design in terms of design, I could definitely offer something different. That's definitely. why I try try to look for something different. That's yeah. not yeah, different to the other, a, a, a USP. Um, so yeah. yeah, that's what I did, and yeah, and well, I, I found a product. I went on Alibaba. Yeah, there we go. Well, I think that's that's one of the main things. The thing that I liked about your product is that you found you found your niche but then you sort of put your own spin on it and then you also started growing your brand and you just sort of made it your own and that's what a, a lot of people need to they need to realize is that when they find a product they can't just sell the exact same thing as everyone else they need to put their own because what you're trying to do is is grow a brand and a brand needs to have its own sort of personality and and um, it, you know you need to put your own spin on it so I liked what you did with yours obviously we, we can't say what the product is but um, you know, he's just put his own spin on it, and he's started growing his brand. And he's, you know, did different colors. I think he did three different colors on it. Yep. That's yeah, right, and colors. yeah, and you just really, you know, you've niched it for your customers and just given them options as well. And I think, uh, and leading into that as well, um, if you guys don't know, there's no PPC for Amazon Australia, so you can't do paid advertisement on Australia just yet. Hopefully, it'll be coming out soon. I'm not sure. Hopefully, because um, it's going to make it a lot easier. Because uh, you know that's what everyone talks about on 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 Amazon US, and that's why I'm mm -hmm. that's why I'm changing around the course um, to, to you know help with the advertising more. But in your case, Albas, how did you start um, advertising your products with no PPC? Yeah, so my my biggest game changer was Facebook ads. Yeah. Um, I, I, I it was kind of one of the only few options that I had, yeah. but it was a big game changer for yeah. me because as soon as I ran Facebook ad, that's when my first sales started to come in. Yeah. So, and it wasn't much, uh, I'll be honest. I did Facebook ad for, I think it was a, a dollar a day. Yeah, I remember you saying uh, it was I'm, like a dollar a yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm currently running my Facebook ad on $2 a day, by the way. Um, really? Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Wow. I'll be running on $3 a day just on December because it's, you know, Christmas season yeah, and stuff. So but you, I'll, yeah. I'll be switching back to $2 a day on, on January. Wow. Because it works. Uh, there's, no re there's no need to increase the numbers, right? Yeah. Uh, and increase my spending, so. Of course. Yeah, um, it works, uh, and I think because of the brand building, it, it's a brand, and that people, tr because it's the brand, people kind of trust the brand. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, also, like you said, uh, with the brand building, I just want to go back to brand building. Yeah, yeah um, of course. Because you're playing a wrong, long game in mm. Amazon Australia. Yeah. Uh, having a generic brand doesn't really suit that well no. in terms of long game. Uh, you, you'll definitely have big competitions coming in later oh, in yeah, a few years' sure. time with, with much with much lower price uh, uh, selling prices. Yeah, I so agree. So it's yeah. really good to have a brand built in right now if you want to play the long game. So yeah. I just want to get that out. Yeah. I agree, yeah. 
And that's that's what you've done really well. And I think that's why you're um, you're starting to do really well because you've taken the time to you know source a product and and individualize it and then start growing your brand. And it's like you said, you know, only two dollar two dollar Facebook ads at the moment, and you're only doing it three dollars a day. And you know, you're making four you know anywhere from three to five hundred profit. I'm I'm guessing yeah. coming into Christmas, you know, you'll start to increase your sales, especially um, first first week of December. Uh, and you may even get to the point where you might even be doing a grand profit um, per week. So hopefully, um, you know, so hopefully, that's if you've got the stock in as well, obviously. But um, hopefully, you know, we, you can get to that point because quarter four, it really does pick up. And that's where I had my first success um, with my product back in, you know, when I started mine on the US. So <laughs> it's definitely an exciting time. Um, and as well, um, I think you've, um, you said you've started on a second product as well. Yes, that's brand. right. Yeah. 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 So I recently got my sample uh, two days ago. Yeah. Um, because it, because my first product is doing so well. Yeah, I've had enough it, enough money to launch my second product and reorder at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's um, it. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, and also, I've because I'm building a brand. Uh, I still think my current brand is not big enough for me. So I want to build out it more. So my second product will also be related to my first brand. Yeah. Um, to kind of help itself really. Um, it, it, it's also related to my first product as well. It's it's kind of a gamble that I'm taking, but I think it will help build a brand in the long run. So definitely. that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Definitely, no, you definitely uh, you're going about it the right way. That's for sure. And it's the it's the power of of a brand, and that's that's what you know we need to get people to understand is that we, you know you need to build a brand, especially when it comes to the long the long game of Amazon Australia. Um, you know, put it this way: if you've got Let's just say in you know three to five years time, you're still doing Amazon. You you still got your brand, and let's just say you've got you know maybe even anywhere from like 20 products, maybe even more. You say, and um, your customer base is, is building. You know, it's it's going to be huge for Amazon Australia. You've already got your your products set up there, and um, people are going to see your products for your niche, and it's already going to be set in stone that you're one of the best sellers on there. You, you know, the sales are just going to come flooding in, especially you know in the long run. So. You're going about it the right way, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in terms of that long-term thing, yeah. I mean, we're both young, aren't we? I'm 24, I'm guessing you're 23, 24 as well, right? Yep, yep, 23 years yeah, old. So, yeah, so yeah, let's say in five years' time, uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident that the Amazon Australia will definitely be much bigger, maybe twice oh, as yeah, bigger. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll have yeah. twice more profits. We'll still be in our 20s, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, we've, that we've, long game is really important. Yeah, and we've grown up in a pretty, uh, we've grown up in a pretty good time as well. You know, good, good exactly. era, good era for e-commerce, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's good. I think I think we pretty much covered uh, covered everything. I don't think I have too many more questions, but the the one main one, um, just you know, for you guys at home, is um, you know, if you're watching this, is I want to ask you, Albas, what do you recommend for mm -hmm. um, for beginner sellers, whether that's you know, selling on the US, whether that's selling on Australia, um, how how would you get started, and you know, what would you do if you were if you were beginning selling again? Would you start on the US, or would you are you solely just um, set on the on the Aussie market right now? Yeah. Now, with that question, I think it's important about uh, whether you're, it's the product that's the most important. Obviously, yes. if you find a very good product, Jungle Scout, definitely go for the US. It's a big market. Um, but you have to be sure about it because yes. it's because it's it's very competitive. It it's is. really really competitive, uh, and the price to uh, the the monthly fees you pay to Amazon as well. It's really it's more expensive in the US than Australia yeah. right now. Yes. Um, if you want quick money, if you have, if you have a great product, definitely go for the US. I'll recommend that. Yeah. If you want to play the long game, if you um, then you would definitely Australia, uh, Amazon Australia is definitely good. Um, yep. I know that Amazon Australia doesn't have the customer base that US Amazon US has. That's for sure. I, I can't lie about that. Yeah. But if you look in the future, um, there's New Zealand. The Amazon might expand across. Yeah, um, that's also, true. Yes. I, I'm pretty sure uh, there, there must be a reason why Amazon uh, actually set up a business in Australia because Australia is a wealthy country. Australians are wealthy. Yeah. Um, they spend a lot of money on products. Yes. And also the online market is just. It's in the early growth stage right it now. Is. It it's will very, only begin to grow. Yeah. So the opportunity is huge in Australia. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I would definitely, if, yeah, for, for a long run, I would definitely go for Australia. You, 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 will, not, um, you will not regret it. Yeah, and to give you guys uh, some, some ease of mind as well, now, were you born in Australia? No, I wasn't. No. Yeah, so, English is actually my second language. Yeah. So, so really, Al Albas is doing it, and he, you know, English isn't even his um, his first language. So, 
there's no excuses for you guys there, you know, especially if you're Aussies, you guys um, have no excuse. You should know the uh, the market even even better, if you, especially if you were born here. So <laughs> <laughs> Albas is just, is just going to show you guys that, you know, you just put in the work, you got to be patient and you just, you know, just apply yourself and, you know, you definitely get there. And obviously um, it's in its early days and um, are, you, are, you still, uh, are you still currently working a job? Yes, uh, I'm working in retail at the moment. Yeah. I'm, I'm a casual at the retail. Um, yeah, well, that's good. I, I, I love my job. Yeah. I, I, I want to continue this on for, for, for as long as I can, yeah. uh, which I, I don't want to discourage anyone who wants to do FBA full-time because that's the beauty of Amazon FBA, isn't it? You can, yeah. do, you, you can do this full-time, but still, I love my job, uh, but I wanted a passive income. That's on the why. side, yeah. yeah. So, on the side, yeah. But yeah. maybe later on, when, when it's doing very well, I will switch to Amazon full-time. Yeah. But at this moment of time, yeah, I, I don't mind doing Amazon part time. You know, it, it still works. That's the beauty of it as well. That it still exactly. works part time and full time. So yeah. yeah, and the the extra the extra money each week doesn't hurt either. You know. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm making five hundred seven to seven hundred fifty dollars working twenty hours a week. Yeah, and on top of that, I got Amazon FBA coming in. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> it it, hurt. it's good. And I think that's what another thing a lot of people need to understand is um, you don't have to do it full time. You know, you don't you don't have to just delve right into it. And oh, if I'm not making this much and I can't. You know, just work on Amazon FBA. If I have to work another job, you know, it's not worth it. You just, you know, there's always going to be a transition period if you want exactly. to do it full time. You know, you need to work that that job first. Do it on the side. Do your side hustle, and then, you know, like you said, once it gets big enough, you can, you know, move over. But it doesn't hurt to make, you know, an extra three hundred to five hundred dollars a week on top of your job. You <laughs> no, know. <it> doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I know it's good. Um, I think we pretty much pretty much covered everything. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to say or let anyone know, um, yeah, um, let me know. Yeah, I just want to say, um, just, just, just do it. Just go out and do it. Uh, don't hesitate. Um, I, I know it's scary. I, I've told Jay how scary I was as well in, in the early stages. Yeah. Um, he, he, he gave me a lot of good advice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm always there for you to answer questions as well. Um, yes. but, but just do it. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm I, recording Nike, but just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, though. Just just go out and do it. You know, you, you got to stop having that fear. And look, I've had products that have failed too. You know, I've I've had money that I've spent that I, that I haven't made back. You know, I've spent too much on advertising and things like that. But you know, you just you just got to keep at it. You know, it's exactly. either it, it's 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 no one else's fault but your own. You know, you can't blame the market. You can't blame you know, oh, it's just the product. You can't blame the customer base. It's all your decision. So you just got to learn from your mistakes. And you know, keep at it because um, you know, as you can see, Al Albas is doing very well for himself already on the Aussie market. And um, you know, I wanted to do this interview to just show people that the Aussie market, you know, is capable of already making that kind of money. And um, you know, running two dollar Facebook ads a day, you know, making making five hundred a week profit. That's it's doing pretty well. So yeah, it's 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 it, on Amazon Australia is going to be really really big. That's for sure. But uh, no, I hope you have a good day anyway. And just for the you sake, too. just for the sake of the um, of the guys that are watching, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, hopefully, we can get some some more students in as well um, for, for these interviews. You know, because uh, that's why I'm trying to get trying to push people so so you know they can start getting results, and then we can start getting the word out there. Because you know, you Albas, you're just a prime example of you know what hard work and patience and dedication does for Amazon FBA. Thank you. Yeah. So apart from that, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next video.